I'm gonna leave it at $999 because we're gonna do something with this. To show you what we want to do that's new, I want you to come down here to the bottom left hand corner, okay? And you should see here, mine have got names, but yours might say sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Do you see that? Yeah. So each of these things you're looking at is called a sheet, right? They're called spreadsheets because literally they were like a big piece of paper and you'd get a big table and you would spread it out so you can see all of the data, okay? So what I want you to do is, I want you to um, hit this new sheet icon. It's like a little rectangle and it's got like an orange star on it, okay? And that'll give you, surprise, surprise, a blank sheet. Okay, it should look like that. All right, give me a sec. I just want to make all of my fonts a bit bigger first. Hold on. Okay. So here's what we're going to do now. Make these a bit bigger. Right. Here's the information that we've got. We've earned all this money. Suppose you change your mind and you're like, oh, I don't know, I really want that foam. But I just can't justify putting down that amount of money all in one hit and saying goodbye to my arm. Uh, or my hard-earned pay, okay? So instead of buying something, instead of splurging, we're gonna save. How risk-averse of you, okay? So on this new sheet, right, what we'll do is, let's work out what happens if for a number of years, okay, we put in and we make savings, okay? And savings can earn interest for us, okay? So, uh, under this, um, under this column here, I'm going to say, well, if I start off, so this is zero, this is no time has passed, what money am I going to start with? Okay? So I could write down 999, okay? but we've got spreadsheets here. Don't write down numbers if the calculator can write down numbers for you. Okay? So I've written in equals. Okay? While that's still activated, I want you to go back to your first sheet. Go back, and I want you to click on that $909, that total pay, right? And you can see it's flashing, right? So then you press enter. Okay. So now these sheets can talk to each other, which is really cool. Right? So whatever um, this amount of money is, right, that's going to be our first, our, our starting balance, if you like. Okay. So you can see if I, um, what did we say before? $25? Who said $25 before? Is it, yeah. No, you said 20, didn't you? Someone else said 25. So if I, if I change that to 25, Okay, so now this number has changed, and if I come over to my new sheet, it's responded. Okay, so I'll undo that. Let's all start with the same 999. Okay. I'll come over and have a look in a second, Darcy. All right, now, I could go and type 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a bit boring, though. Okay, so instead, I'm going to say I want it to go plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. How do I do this? Do you remember how we did it before? Good, good. So you start an equation, right? You, you press up to select the cell right above you, okay, and then you say plus one, okay. So if I do that, and now if I copy it all the way down as long as I like, and if I paste them all in, I've got all the values there. Is that okay? Looking good? So you've got all those numbers going down. You can go as far as you like. I've gone to 20 something, but it doesn't matter. You can add more if you need it, okay? Okay, so. Someone tell me, what's an interest rate? Has anyone got a bank account and knows what the interest rate is? Okay, let's see. Rates and fees. There we go. Bank account every day. What are you guys? You guys are students. Where's the student one? Youth saver. That sounds about right. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's really lame. That's really low. Okay, let's go with that anyway. 3.64%. Is that all right? Does that sound reasonable to you guys? Yeah. Wow, look at that. 0.01%. That's like nothing. Wow, that's really sad. Okay, I'm going to go with 3.64. Is that okay? Yeah. 3.64. Okay, come back to your spreadsheet. Well, you're probably still on it. Uh, up here in the corner, I'm going to say interest rate, and I'm going to call it 3.64%. And I'm just going to put that there so that I can refer to it. Okay. All right, so I've got an interest rate. I've got an amount of money. So think back to when we were doing investing, okay? How do I work out how much is in that bank account after a year? I'll give you a free hint. It starts with an equals. <laughs> okay, I could add some things, couldn't I, right? I could add this to something else, but what do I add it to? I don't want to just add 3.64, I want it like a dollar sign, right? So I reckon it's actually going to be a better suggestion to take that number 
and think back to how you worked out compound interest. Okay, compound interest. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It starts with an, you're, I think someone's saying simple interest. I want compound interest. Yes. Hold on, hold on. I can hear one plus R in brackets. I've got missing bits. And I'm missing something still. Okay, good. Okay, there we go. There you go. There we go. It's just a cacophony of people. Okay, fine. There you go. All right, so what are all the pieces here? Right? P stands for principal, which in this case is the... $999. Now, I could write $999, but instead I'm just going to say B2, because that's, that's the amount. Okay, So I'm going to put in B2. Okay. Now, nestled in here, this is actually this times this, right? Now, what was our symbol in a spreadsheet for multiplication? It was the asterisk, right? Okay, so it's so far so good. Now, then you've got a 1 plus, now the ray, right? Now we've written down 3.64%, but in here, yeah, we need a decimal, don't we? So it'll be 0 0.0364, I guess. Those are the numbers we've got. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get to that one in a second. Okay, we'll just start with this for now and just we'll all be consistent. Okay, that's a very good question though. Okay. Now, we would have to put a number up here, right, for how much, uh, how long it's been in there, and therefore what it should be. So it's time, right? It's going to be one, but then it's going to be two, and then it's going to be three, and four, and five. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I should really be using these numbers over here, shouldn't I? Right? Um, we're raising to a power. What's our symbol for power? It's a funny one, right? Yeah, it's that, um, it's that little hat thing, which is above the six. And then what I want is this cell over here. You can look at the coordinates. You can see, what should I put in there? That'll be, it will be three, but I think it's in this A oh, column, right? Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. That's why we're doing this, right? Okay, there you go. Right. Let's try this out. Let's give it a spin, okay? So, equals. Okay. I've already got the B2 in there. Times. Pop your brackets in. One plus, and then here is the interest rate. That looks so, so far so good. Close the brackets. Raise the power. And now if I, I have two choices. I can either just click on this cell or I can type in A3. Either way, you'll get the same result. All right. Bam. Now, uh, let's, let's change that formatting so it's all money. There we go. So does that look like it's reasonable? Does that, does that sound about right? Uh, you're, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on this 3.64% business though, so this is, this is a different interest rate. Yeah, yeah. So this is a different interest rate altogether now. I guess it will depend on how much money you actually have in the bank account, that number there. Okay, now how do I work out what's going to happen next? Yeah, so the great thing is, we put all this work into doing this formula, right? But the formula should keep working as I go down. Let's try that. Copy, paste, stop. Does that seem like a reasonable sort of number? Does that seem in the right ballpark? I think it does. And you can keep going down, right? Bam, there you go. Okay, and you can scroll down and you can see what's happening. Whoop, my, uh, my cells are too small. Wow, we've got millions of dollars. That's amazing. Okay. Not bad for 3.64%. Okay, now I'll teach you another trick. Okay, can you see how I've scrolled further down, right? So I've lost all of the titles that have, I popped on the top of my columns, okay? So there are my, um, there are my headings, okay? So I'll teach you a trick. Um, go to the top, right? Be right at the top of your spreadsheet, okay? And you remember how we said, look, there's the home tab. We were mucking around with the data tab. I want you to go over to the view tab. It's right at the end. View. Okay. So under view, what I want this, um, see this top bit, this top row, I want it to always be there, no matter how far I scroll, okay? So Excel calls these things panes, so as in like window panes. So in the middle here, it says freeze panes. So it starts to um, open up a window, just hit that, okay? And you can see it's got a nice preset option there for, ta-da, freeze top row. Keep this top row visible while scrolling through, so I'll hit that. 
And then when I scroll, ta-da, it stays put. Okay. So that's kind of useful, especially when you've got lots and lots of information and you want to go further down, but you still want to know what everything's talking about. Okay. All right, now I'm curious. We, we put this um, money in the bank account, right? Um, and you can see it increases, but it starts to increase really, really fast. How fast? How would you work out in here how much you're earning every single year, like how much um, extra interest you're getting? Uh, I suppose if you're a bit of a chump, you could you know, go to a formula or something like that. But we've got a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet can do this for us, right? So for instance, if I asked you just one question, how much was earned in the first year? How much interest? What would you do? What would you actually write? So, so we, can, we can do this amount, right? Um, so I can go 103536 minus 999, right? Which does sound something like 36-ish dollars, right? But, but this is a spreadsheet. Come on, we don't need to do the numbers. It'll do the numbers for us. What are the cells that these numbers are in? Um, this, is, um, this is B3, right? That's B3. And I should take away, what should I take away? B2. B2, good. Okay, so I'm going to pop that right there. I'm going to say equals B3 minus B2. And you can see it colors the writing and the cells to tell you it knows what you're talking about. And you hit enter, and you get the 36-ish dollars that we were expecting. Okay. But the great thing is this is a formula, so you can copy that guy. And then you can just say, well, let's just keep on going and see what happens. And I go all the way to 27. Oh, it's too big. Let's make that a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so have a look. The first year, you earn a pitiful $36. That's not even enough to take your parents out to dinner, okay? But then, if you wait, if you're patient, <laughs> not, if, not if you get one of those fancy build your own burger things. They're expensive, man. So <laughs> if you wait another year, right, you're earning... More money, and then more money, and then more money. Now hold on. Does this make sense? Does does it make sense that you would be a a millionaire by by here? There you go, you're a millionaire, just by sitting on that one thousand dollars and doing nothing. It does seem too good to be true, doesn't it? So my question is, what's gone wrong? We can come back in 20 years and tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so we got two ways to do this. You can go do an experiment, if you like, and I'll see you in 20 years. Or we could think about the maths of what's going on. Now, I, I know what the answer is, because I've designed this spreadsheet. But I wonder if you can work out what's happening. I'll give you two or three minutes to try and look at what's going on and why it's going wrong. Okay? If you think you have an answer, I'll come over to you. Test out your hypothesis, but for the rest of you, I want you to have a think.